Hello, this is All Wheel Drive back again. We are going to be replacing the front bumper here, bumper cover, and a headlight and a fender, and then inspect the rest of the damage after I get the components off. But uh, at the moment, I am going to be pulling this fender off, which, with it being wrecked, a couple of the screws are there and there. Then, you know, then you have this screw, the bolts, bolts, bolts. See if we can get in here. And there's going to be another bolt right here. So I'm going to try to get that out right now. Try not to beat the crap out of your car while you do this. <laughs> There's that bolt. I can put all the bolts on a little magnetic thing. Some O'Reilly's. And then you're going to have to open the door. And there should be a couple of screws or bolts in the inside here, just depending on the car. Let's see if I turn this on. So we're just going to have to look possibly where that little plastic thing is right here. The little plastic cap that can be behind that and so on okay we're back we have got the fender off now and that broken headlight which just came out in pieces i mean it was like <laughs> it's pretty broken so it's kind of pointless to show you how to do that one because most of the stuff was missing on how to take it out but we got the fender off so after you open the door and you get this one out and then you got to pull the uh the side skirt back and then there's two screws that go here and then there and after that the fender will come off so this is on a lexus ls430 so we're gonna keep pushing on so next we got to get the front bumper off which uh a lot of that you know you got a 10 mil right here and there's a push clip that holds right here and right here. Oh, it's there. Anyway, but after you get that, then the grill is loose. Then you just gotta go through and unbolt the bumper. So there's gonna be a couple screws right in here. Probably gonna have to move the. Uh, gotta take some of these little screws out up through here. So you can move that out and there should be two screws up in there. When I get there, I'll show you. All right, here we are going under the bumper. There's a few bolts under here that you're gonna have to take out. There's one over here that actually broke off the bumper, but like I said, my car was wrecked. Pretty messed up. But uh, there'll be a bolt there. Should be, you know, a long through here. There should be a few of them. Uh, that bolt's missing. There's one over there. So on. All right, let's try to get these out real quick. Making a little pile of screws. All right, I'll catch you back when I'm taking out the other side over there, and then we'll go from there. All right, we are back here. Gonna have some little side screws. Looks like that one's broke. I think the side's actually just... Let's see if we can get this inner fender out of the way a little bit. Don't feel bad about being a little aggressive. 
so you can get to that little screw there. So. Sorry about the bad angle here. As soon as this screw comes off, the bumper should come should come apart. Well, the whole other part of the bumper's coming off. <laughs> that should just come right up out of there. So I think the the bumper's a little finicky right now. There it goes. Had to do a little poppage. Make sure you unplug your light. Oh, we missed a screw at the very bottom down there. Let's see if we can get that up. the bumper off. I'll meet you back when I start cleaning up everything. Still needs a fog light, but uh, we get it all back together now. The front bumper is back installed, the headlight, the fender. The paint matched fairly decent. It's pretty close for what it is. All right, well, thanks for watching, and uh, like and subscribe if you liked what you see. Uh, leave a comment, you know, if you got any questions. All righty.